that Tom Sullivan would retire when hell froze over and what that happened to him. Uh, I've learned so much from Tom uh, through the years, including the value of brevity, and so I'll be short in our comments. Um, and I learned that the hard way. I tend to leave long voicemail messages for our partners. And a couple years ago, I left a message. It was about three minutes long, and I was proud of it. And I went to Tom, and I said, Tom, what did you think of that voicemail? He says, to be honest, Billy, I listened to the first 30 seconds of your messages, and then I delete everything out. <laughs> when I joined the firm, I, I thought it was uh, interesting that Tom was in the library more than any of the firm's associates. And I later learned that even though he could have any office, among our suite, he chose the one right across from the library, and he was in there all the time. Uh, it was only when Emil Herman passed in, in 99 that Tom moved to his current office, and, and the reason for that is, you know, Tom was the only one with the gravitas in the firm to, to take Emil's office, and when I think of Tom, I do think of gravitas. Uh, he's one of the few people who just by his mere presence uh, can um, make something happen, and I've used that through the years. A uh, number of years ago, we had a partner who was kind of going off the reservation a little bit, and I said, boy, I need to sit down for a meeting. So I said to Tom, will you come to the meeting and uh, uh, just sit there? And he said, well, what's it about? I said, you don't have to say a word. So when the fellow comes in the door and the guy's not here anymore, and he sees Tom, it scared the hell out of him. <laughs> and we got what we needed, so I appreciate that. Uh, but it's a rare individual, indeed, who's so loved by his clients, who's admired by his colleagues, and he's respected by everyone who has come to know him through the years professionally and personally. And I'm very pleased to announce that Rothman Gordon is establishing the Thomas R. Solomich Prize for Excellence in Property Law at the University of Pittsburgh School of Law wow. in Thomas R. We'll have more information and details on that, but, but I think it's just an endowment chair. But but we're thrilled to, to have everyone here, and we're also thrilled that you know even though Tom's not going to be working as as hard, we he still has an office, and it's going to be next to me, so I can take advantage of uh, his wise we love that bluntness, <laughs> <laughs> and we will miss it. I guess I've got a lot more lunches than that. That's true, too. There you go. Um, so anyway, uh, that's my comments. I'm going to turn it over to Lou Kushner, uh, who has actually worked with Tom throughout his career here at the firm, and then Ron Backer will say a few words after uh, Lewis. Mm -hmm. 